AMEs might ask, why does the continuous glucose monitoring protocol for insulin-treated diabetes mellitus require so many reports? The FAA needs to verify that the pilot is not a safety risk due to their diabetes and that additional medical conditions have not developed. The pilot's blood sugar must remain under control at all times. So how do AMEs help pilots know what information to submit and when? The AME and pilot should use the ITDM Information Submission Requirements Worksheet to ensure all documents are submitted at the proper times. The worksheet shows initial submission items and follow-up items at specific intervals. For examples of report requirements, please go to faa.gov go itdm.